right? Oh, she looks not happy. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be removing a brown recluse egg sac from its mother. So if you guys remember, I got a brown recluse recently. She came from an infestation situation. She also came with an egg sac of which she ate. Something kind of unique and cool about brown recluse is that they can actually double clutch. What that means is that they can lay an egg sac and then lay another egg sac again. So I kind of was surprised, but at the same time I knew it was a possibility because my good friend Dion from Reptiliatus warned me about this. And one night I was surprised noticing she was sitting on yet another egg sac. I personally do not want any more brown recluse. So we are going to actually go remove the sac. But before we do that, I did kind of just want to talk to you guys a little bit. So I'm trying to get videos out to you guys every three to five days. That's just kind of been what I've always aimed for the past few years. And that's what I'm going to continue to aim for. That said, we all know that 2020 has been a really weird year. I feel like the world is in a really dark place. I feel like a lot of people are in a really dark place. And honestly, I've really just tried to maintain some normalcy by putting out videos and trying to like remain as positive as possible because I know a lot of people come here to my videos to get like five or 10 minutes of an escape, of a break from everything going on. And I totally get that because I'm the same way. I use YouTube exactly the same way. So throughout all this, despite everything going wrong in 2020, I've tried to just keep things as normal as possible for you guys. And I know some of you have commented thanking me so much for like continuing to just march on with all of this. But I'm not going to lie, sometimes it feels really weird to just like put out videos without acknowledging anything that's going on. I honestly feel like that scene in the Titanic where the Titanic is sinking and so they all get their violins and keep playing while the ship just continues to sink. That's exactly like how I would put it. I'm the guy with the violin. But I'm not gonna lie, there have been a lot of times lately that I just have not been in a great mood and I don't wanna film if I'm not in a good mood because personally, I just want to put like the best, most positive version of myself out there. I don't want to come on here and be negative or carry like bad vibes. I just want to make it a positive thing. Besides that, there's also the whole issue with no childcare, which makes it a lot more difficult to film. So I'm just telling you guys all of this in case I do fall behind. I know I've mentioned it like maybe on Twitter months ago that I might fall behind. Unfortunately, I haven't fallen too far behind. There have definitely been maybe six days between videos a couple times but for the most part we've maintained the three to five days but I also am not going to lie and say that it it's not a struggle sometimes because it is between just being in a poopy mood that I don't want to film in or not having any childcare. Don't worry, I'm gonna continue like trying to do the exact same schedule. I'm gonna continue to film when I am feeling like in a positive <laughs> mindset. But if I do go more than five days without a video, you know why. Yeah, I just wanted to have that conversation with you guys and also just thank you all for like being on board with me throughout this and just like, I don't know, I just definitely appreciate you guys watching and just interacting with you because this is really the extent of like socialization that I've had for the past few months. And yeah, it's just been a weird time. So now that we've acknowledged it and I've talked about it, I'm just gonna stop talking about it for now and we are going to go fight this brown recluse for her egg sac. So as you can see we are in a different area today. Basically what I'm going to do is take her sack away. I've never done this before but I know that they can be somewhat defensive when it comes to removing the sack understandably. So essentially I'm going to have to probably fight her for it a little bit and that is not something that I really look forward to doing. For anybody who is not aware tarantulas or spiders will sometimes fight you for their sack but it's not because the mother is like upset that you're taking her babies because she's emotionally attached. It's completely a natural thing. So what am I going to do with the sack? Basically what my plan is is to put it in here and see if it hatches. Regardless though I'm not keeping the babies. I will be releasing the babies in the woods. So I don't think we're going to get babies because I don't know if the sack is any good but you know I thought it'd be pretty cool to document and see if if we do. Another thing about brown recluse is they totally stink about climbing the sides of enclosures. So say a sack of brown recluse hatched in here with how 
tall this is combined with a lid, they're, they're not going anywhere. So it's completely secure, safe, and I will be poking some air holes in the top with a needle. But yeah, they will not be going anywhere. So don't worry about that. <laughs> the drive here, she disappeared on me. So I have no idea where she is. And it kind of stinks I have to take this enclosure apart right after we put it together because I really like this enclosure and she webbed it up nicely. She's eaten once since I put her in here also. I don't want to put my hand in. I already know I'm probably going to have to like pull this whole thing out. Where did she go? She's just like completely gone. Wow, I have no idea where she went. Hold on, I'm gonna shine a light in there and see. Okay, I do see her. She's right. Oh, she looks not happy. So we do not want to get her to run out of the enclosure, but if she does run out, then she's going to wind up in this tub, which she can't climb as far as I know. But let's get a close up of that sack because it actually looks like a pretty good one. So before I started driving here, she was actually on top of it and she's been sitting on top of it for about two or three days now. I'm actually really glad that she got off of it because that'll make it easier to take it from her, I hope. Oh, but if she does run, like I said, she's not going anywhere because we have double tubbed this enclosure. So let's boogie, I guess. Oh no, the eggs are spilling. I do not want the eggs in her enclosure, so continue this without getting eggs in her enclosure. So because the sack unfortunately ripped open, then that means these eggs are not gonna be any good. Although that is a little bit of a bummer that we're not gonna be able to see them hatch. It does make my job easier because I wasn't really sure what to do with the eggs. Basically, some people told me just flush it. Others said freeze it. Some just said dump it in the woods and say good luck. I did kind of want to document it opening, but yeah, unfortunately uh, that's probably not happening now. So yeah, uh, I actually managed to just grab out a piece and the whole thing came out. Like I said, these eggs are not gonna be any good now. But surprisingly, she didn't put up a fight, which is like completely what I was expecting. I think maybe she's just too scared. Again, this is another good example of how they're not these terrible aggressive spiders because taking away a female sack is generally a really difficult task and she hasn't even really tried to stop me. Then again, she did eat her first sack. But yeah, now that we've removed the sack, I'm going to attempt to put her back exactly how she was. Yeah, see, no fight at all, which is like such a relief. I think she feels actually really secure in her enclosure and that's maybe why she didn't like fight me at all. She did not fight me at all. Go ahead and put her leaf litter back. This enclosure's worked out really well though. I actually am really happy with like how she has been in it. She comes out at night and like wanders around. It's actually pretty cool. I don't know, I just, I really like observing these spiders because they actually are like really interesting compared to like other species I've worked with. So yeah, I think they're really cool. Even though they're pretty, you know, reclusive, they still have a lot of interesting behaviors in my opinion anyway. Yeah, they might be like totally like hated or whatever, but I just disagree with all of the hate that they get. She's webbed all this up too, it's pretty cool. So there you have it. We removed her sack. Uh, hopefully that's the end of it because that's two sacks that she's laid now too. Really cool, but you know, one of those species that can result in an infestation and we see how quickly that could have became one spider turning into a hundred because she laid not one but two sacks if she hadn't have eaten the first sack and then if i hadn't have removed this sack we would have had a hundred brown recluse in literally a month two months so yeah that's all for now we did it Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Like this video if you did. Subscribe if you're not. And you want me. Don't forget that I'm an Instagram that I use probably way too much. It's at tarantula.cat. You can go follow me there. I also have a Patreon, Teespring, and a podcast. It's all linked down below. Go check it out, and I will see you guys soon. Stay well. Be safe. Take care. Thank you so much.